The next day, John was there again with two of his disciples. When he saw Jesus passing by, he said, Look, the Lamb of God. John and Andrew had been following John the Baptist. When they heard Jesus identified as the Lamb of God, they turned to follow Jesus. What do you want? Jesus asked, testing them. Rabbi, where are you staying? This revealed their desire to follow Jesus and stay with him. They desire to transfer their relationship from John the baptizer to Jesus, the Lamb of God. And this transfer of authority from John to Jesus happened here at the Jordan River. This was a scene of two previous transfers of authority, for it was here that Moses had transferred his authority to Joshua. And it was here that Elijah had transferred his authority to Elisha. And now John the baptizer points to Jesus of Nazareth as the Lamb of God, and John's disciples begin to follow the new teacher. Jesus responded to the question, Rabbi, where are you staying? By giving them an invitation to be in relationship with him. Come and you will see. Isn't it amazing how this day impressed John? He is pinning his gospel of Jesus 60 years after the events happened, and he still remembers the hour of the very day that he first met Jesus. He says it was about the 10th hour or four in the afternoon. This began a long and rich relationship between Jesus and his first two disciples. Immediately, Andrew took action. The first thing Andrew did was to find his brother Simon and tell him, we have found the Messiah, that is the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus 